Hello guys, today I have for you another radiation dose and this time it will be a... this Geiger counter, yes, it's a Nokia 3310. It looks pretty normal, it's the meme indestructible uh, phone, but recently I have discovered uh, that uh, the display could be easily used with Arduino, so I decided to build a small tiny Geiger counter that can be concealed on the public, uh, although uh, this kind of phone will draw attention more than a real Geiger counter. So let's have a look uh, on how it works. There's a tiny switch at the bottom which powers it up. And it's ready to measure. Uh, well, I have here a radium watch dials which are extremely radioactive. So that's the uh, only thing that's uh, really nicely detected by this small tiny SBM21 uh, Geiger Miller tube that's located inside here. Uh, we can see it shows CPM, it shows radiation graph changes, and stuff like that. Uh, there is no sound here because there's a teeny uh, battery inside and um, I do not want to draw uh, too much current uh, so it will last a little bit longer. Uh, it takes about 40 milliamps right now. It's not too much, but it's not low. And with 150 uh, milliamp battery, uh, it it will run for about three hours or more. As you can see, the radium watch dials, which are extremely radioactive, you can see in this video uh, that it had around 700 microsievert, uh, but this little tiny tube just does not detect it so well. Let's have a look inside. So what is inside? Inside there's a 5 volt converter from the standard small LiPo battery. There's a 400 volt uh, converter for the Geiger Miller tube, which is located just under here, uh, under this Arduino. Uh, the, and yeah, there's an Arduino here that controls the display and counts the CPM. So that's it. Uh, I will post a full schematic at my website, a link down below, and see you next time. Putting GC10 near to it. Extended cable here, and then close your uh, shielded 